Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, I've been working for the past few months on a new course that I titled uh, Fundamentals of Networking for Effective Backend Engineering. And I'm really, really happy that I actually finished this course. Uh, because you see, the, the fundamentals of networking are really critical when it comes to building backend applications. And believe it or not, building frontend en engineering applications you know to engineer and architect an application you really need to understand what is the medium that you're going to use how are you going to connect these two things together and we use protocols like http grpc uh, rest it's an architecture style but still you use tcp or udp or all these other protocols which sits on top of really basic building blocks we really get only have two things to work with when it comes to the transport UDP and TCP. And that's not clear for us back in engineers. We work, we are so at a, at, a, at a very high level. We are at a very high layer when it comes to building applications. While when you look at network engineering, it's the exact opposite of, a, of an iceberg, if you will. You know, network engineering are very interested in certain low level details. And what I found from my you know, over 17 years of experience building these applications is there is a huge gap when it comes to understanding networking and linking it to what the application is. It's like as if everyone is working is complete isolation. The network engineers are building really cool infrastructure for us and we are building really cool apps, but we're not really talking to each other. At least this is what I personally noticed. And from my in the past five years, I tried to kind of bridge this gap, try to understand, try to read more, try to learn more about network engineering. And I finally, I think I found the, the hidden thread that links these two worlds together. And this is what I built. I built a course primarily for backend and frontend engineers and full stack engineers that to understand the networking stack and i'm really proud about that i i gotta be honest i'm really happy that i actually finished that and you will you will see during the course you'll see how excited i am while te you know teaching or, or talking about this concept you know so i i i'll explain i have many sections in this course i'll talk about the basic fundamentals of networking you know the osi model why is it critical for every back engineer to really understand that i keep harping about that point tcp ip model the host to host communication talk about client server mention microservices and how it really inherited from the client basic classic client server architecture i'll move to talk about the ip layer you know the internet protocol why do we need an ip why do we need the, the ip layers i i even go dive and de for the first time ever talk about the headers in the ip packet itself but only those that i personally interacted with and i believe it linked back to the backend engineer it linked back to latency it linked back to performance when it comes to backend engineering i started linking back and forth you know, as much as possible. And then I'll talk about the transport control protocol, the TCP. And before that, I'll talk about the UDP protocol. And then I compare these two protocols together, you know. And again, we'll pick up the UDP, talk about the pros and cons of the UDP, talk about the UDP packet. How does it look like the diagram, you know? The TCP stack, talk about the algorithms that we have. Why do we need a TCP stack? You know, what is the flow control? What is the congestion control? And how these two guys, you know, affect the performance of the backend application or the flow of data when you send a large request from your Axios API, you know, or fetch. You know, why is it sometimes it is really slow when it starts and then it picks up when uh when when the request reaches in the middle way why is that right all these kind of things why sometimes some request uh, I, I establish the connection and then all of a sudden the connection dies. I don't I don't see that. I try to link my personal experiences, bugs that I've seen when it comes to networking uh, stack with the application. 
then I'll uh, obviously talk about the pros and cons of TCP. <laughs> There's nothing perfect. And how we really did a lot when it comes to TCP. And then the birth of this powerful protocol that's called Quick HTTP3. But you'll notice a theme in on this course. The theme is the theme is why. I always start with a why. Anything I introduce, I will say, I'll tell you why does it exist. You know, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but believe me, I'm really excited about this course so much, you know. And the and one of the final sections is titled uh, Networking Concept for Effective Backend Design. And really, these are the algorithms and, and networking woos, if you will, that things to watch for, things that you can actually tune, things to just understand, really, that they exist. And by the understanding that these algorithm and tuning and, and features exist in the networking stack, you can tune your backend applications and your frontend APIs so that it can leverage this. And it really, there's no wrong or right. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Like when you're building gaming, multiplayer gaming applications, completely different from building a chatting app. And so picking a right protocol and tuning this backend configuration, networking configuration to fit this is really powerful. And obviously, it's not going to be a network course if... Uh, if I don't talk about Wireshark, just dive deep into the Wireshark and look at the lowest level frames and packets, and segments. And I hope you pick this course and, and try it out for yourself and see if you if you like it. And you can return it if you don't if you if you, th if you see this is not for you, obviously. But uh, yeah, uh, link uh, for a discount coupon. Go to network.hosseinnasser.com for a discount coupon. It's gonna also be in the pinned comment below really happy that I finally finished this course. Obviously, I forgot to mention, there are obviously exercises. I'll... It was not going to be a coding exercise. It's not going to be a good course without actually going through examples, right? So I took actually different languages to build a UDP server or a TCP server. So I picked JavaScript, which is a language I, I like and it's familiar with, and it's a very high level language. It's an interpreted language, right? And I built a TCP server and an UDP server, and I show you how to interact with it, you know, how to connect to it, and what really happens when you connect. And I go into the details of the code. It's like, what exactly happening in each stage? And every time I link to the things we discuss, what is a socket? What is a file descriptor? Why is it here? What is the ramification of having this? A lot of connections. How can I keep keep tra track of connections? And then I also built a, a UDP server and a TCP server with the language that I'm really not comfortable with. Right? I actually took the code that existed in, in a GitHub, and I and I but I actually explained it using C. This is the lowest you can go. You can go in C assembly, but C is considered a high level language. But to be honest, not anymore. You know, because C is actually a, a very low level language. It's almost close to assembly when it comes to that stuff. So I will I show how the C code works when it comes to TCP. I was listening, to, uh, creating a TCP server and UDP server with C. So I'll walk you through all line by line what exactly is happening. Why are we having those steps? And compared to the Node.js app, like three lines compared to like 50 you know so there is a lot of stuff and it gives you different feeling when you understand that oh my app is actually yeah it's three line of code but it's doing all this work so it there it adds a little bit of a transparency and more of a let's call it appreciation of what the operating system is doing for you this is a one of my favorite courses that i built i hope you check it out thank you so much